Welcome back. This is going to be a much smaller video today and outside of the normal channel. Don't worry, there is another video on the way. I am still fighting with my new software. This is a bit of housekeeping for the up and coming ghost walk, talk and hopefully experience in a week's time on the 20th of October. Right, for a start, where and when am I going to be making a fool out of myself in the field? I will be sat at the old cross in front of the old bell tower next to the cathedral. There is a car park nearby which, according to Stephen, is the greatest car park to ever exist and has given it the five stars on Google. I'll let you make your own mind up on that one. I can't think why anyone would actually want to rate a car park. But, according to Stephen, it is a positively religious experience parking in this car park. Once you leave the car park, you will take a right and follow the road around the Bishop's Palace and then up towards the old bell tower where you will see the old cross and this fat old git sat at the base of it. Now there is a little bit of walking involved during this experience, obviously. It would be a shit ghost walk if you sat down at the base of the cathedral and I talked at you for an hour and then buggered off. However, due to the nature of the area and the locations of the stories, we will be walking through the odd field, muddy lanes, and into an overgrown graveyard and finally near the River Taff. This leads us on to our next point, what you will need. You will need a torch. There are very few lights on this path and you will need them for when we travel between the different locations. Walking boots or wellies are preferable. It's likely to be muddy. And on that, I'd bring either an umbrella or some sort of waterproof jacket. This is Wales after all, not Barbados. I can remember the old spooky tale, but I can't predict the weather. Let's just take it as a given that it's likely to be shit. I'd advise people not to be drunk. This is an area where people have fallen into the river and died. I do not want to be responsible for that and neither do I want to add to the stories of the area because one plank decided it would be a good idea to go for a swim in the river. Anyone seen to be intoxicated upon arrival will be asked to leave. And finally, due to the course of the tour, I will be wearing a camera. This is for several reasons. Number one, it's to document the night's events. I personally know people who have seen unnerving things in this area. If that should happen, I would like to catch it on film. Number two, as you can imagine, most people will turn up to a ghost walk in the spirit of fun, but there are those who turn up with the intent to cause disruption. I'd like to protect us slightly from those types of prats. Also, if anyone does go for a swim, I've then got proof that I warned against it and will wave at you from the banks as you drift off towards Cardiff City Centre. Number three. If I do happen to catch a sighting, you can be damn sure that it's going up on the channel. Having said that, if anyone does not want to be featured on the video, should the unlikely event happen, then let me know and I will take steps to hide their identity of the footage. If people find themselves unnerved by anything on the tour, please let me know and I'll escort you back to the main road, leaving the others on the tour to sit in darkness. I'm sure they'll love it. And finally, this is not some sort of farce to get views to the channel. I have not paid people to act scared or paid people to dress as spirits for the event and jump out and scare attendees. I'm not into that sort of thing and besides that, I barely have enough money to pay for my bills every month, let alone pay for some buffoon to hide in a bush making spooky sounds. Therefore, 
If anything is experienced, just make sure that you run faster than the person next to you. Because you'll have to run fast, as I'll be far out in front. For those travelling from outside of Cardiff, or even England, I'd advise leaving now, and packing for a week. With the introduction of a Mickey Mouse speed limit courtesy of our finest pals in the Welsh Government, you are likely to be in your car long enough to grow grey and nurture a vine of hemorrhoids. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you on Friday the 20th of October. Hopefully, I can complete the walk without making too much of a tit out of myself. We'll see. Thank you.